Welcome back to Extreme One Chunk Barlamore Edition. If you've missed episode one, please do go back, watch it. It's a good one. We arrived in Vartlemore and started our grind to complete this chunk and roll on to our next adventure. Without further ado, let's finish this chunk and move on. Alright, with this last pickpocket, we'll get a milestone for 40 thieving, which is actually very big for us because of the city's guard. Now, if we try to pickpocket these, I don't know what the fail rate's going to be. 46 XP is so much better than 8. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not sure what the fail rate's going to be doing this. <laughs> it doesn't look great. But I feel like the XP per hour is still going to be faster just because it's like 7x the XP drops or something. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to work. Alright, well, we're going to do this until 50. And I'll see you guys there. Alright, so I did some digging uh because we're at 40 thieving right so i was just trying to experience what this 50 thieving is so like if i just come over here and check ollie you need 50 thieving to take part in house robbery the wiki is now starting to get upgraded or at least updated rather so i s looked into what house robbery really entails from what i gather you have to come to these wealthy citizens pickpocket them and there's a 1 in 17 chance you'll get a house key. And then when you take the house key into one of these houses, any of the ones that have the little robbery symbol on them, you go in there and then you can steal from things like the jewelry case or the, there's a chest upstairs or this chest back here. And then you get valuable items and then you can sell those and you get XP, of course. So we don't actually have a wealthy citizen in our chunk they only are in the center of this bazaar they call it so that 50 thieving is actually not a chunk requirement uh we're gonna get there eventually right because i assume we're gonna roll that that chunk fairly quickly but that actually is not a chunk requirement which means we're done with thieving at 40 thieving however I looked into the guards and what they drop a little bit more and it looks like they actually drop arrows and I didn't know that they dropped steel arrows so I got I think I got bronze arrows from them before or I got bronze arrows from somewhere so that was the best in slot ammo but they actually dropped steel arrows so I need to kill these guys until I get steel arrow uh, they drop five at a one in 128 and they drop uh, a stack of one for one in 32 so i'll just kill guards a little bit until i get that drop and then we actually are done with this chunk i'll double check everything before we end up recording and rolling but we should be done with this chunk after getting that arrow uh drop i'm also training attack and the reason i'm training attack is because one of the chunks next to us the north one at this headquarters has a sword shop I'm just going to assume because it's new content that perhaps they sell Addy. Uh, I haven't looked at the wiki yet, but um, I already have defense above Addy. I uh, don't really need strength quite yet, but uh, the attack. I need to attack the 30 to be able to wield the Addy. So that's my my guess. I'll, I'll look into this uh, when we do some chunk rolls. I'll get an idea of what each chunk has and we can kind of go through it. But for now, we'll just kill the guards and wait for that steel arrow drop. Then we can roll our chunk. Well, it just went away because we're constantly attacking, but we did hit 28 attack and 36 combat. So that is uh, one step closer to our 30 attack goal. I'm hoping that we don't actually get it in this chunk just because I'd like to roll, right, obviously. Uh, but if we do end up getting to 30 attack before we get the steel arrow, it's a bonus. It helps us in the long run. And there we go. There is 29 attack, one closer to that addy weapon uh goal that we have assuming there's addy at that shop still no sign of this oh and look at that timing i <laughs> could not get any better than that there is the steel arrow will wield it that is best in slot ammo and i'll do a double check but that should be the chunk complete all right well i went back through took a look at everything we have there is no more chunk tasks um just before we completely close out for those that didn't see we did have sweet corn it's our best healing it's uh 
one plus ten percent of your max HP. Our max HP is thirty one. So that's uh one plus three. So it'll be a four heal. The nice thing about having this in our chunk is that as we progress our hit points levels, this is gonna slowly heal better. So it's actually gonna be really good for us. But uh during thieving I would I would go back and get about a hundred sweet corn and then I'd go back to thieving and then I'd go cook a hundred sweet corn and then thieve and uh, rinse and repeat until we got what we needed but back to chunks right talking about next chunks I'm gonna do this in the order that you'll see in the chunk picker um, the chunk north of us is considered one what does it have in it what can I expect I mean, it's got an obvious anvil a sword shop and death's office the sword shop I'm hoping has Addy swords or maybe two-handed sword or something in there something that'll be better than an iron dagger right so this is a, a very good chunk water source which doesn't help us we already have one uh a barracks i don't know what that is and then it looks like tunnel i'm assuming this is just a non uh agility shortcut essentially just to be able to get outside of the the area that otherwise this doesn't seem insanely, I, I don't know what's in this headquarters, but it doesn't seem like there's going to be an insane grind in this chunk. Uh, we'll probably need to get to 30 attack, at least that's what I'm hoping, if we get that chunk. I'd be happy with that chunk. Second one is West. This uh, does give us farming patch, which is very good, as well as a farming shop. That is uh, awesome, awesome to get right out of the bat. Uh, second, we get... Hunter training method, it is level 65, so it's a long ways away. But we would have a way to train Hunter eventually, which would be kind of nice. Then we get this farm, Ortis Farm. It has a dairy cow. This has some implications because we already have this churn. So if we were to unlock uh, Chunk 2, we'd get a 48 cooking grind uh, so that we could churn milk into cheese so that is an option there not as upset about that chunk at all i don't know what else is in this area so it'd be kind of cool to come and see this area also gives us one step closer to a potential altar which would be nice um and then eventually like a fishing at, at salmon which is also pretty good and i don't i don't mind having a 48 cooking grind because we've got sweet corn here we cook them, they're like 100 XP each, which is really not that bad. It does require some hopping because the respawn, respawn timer is not very good uh, for the corn. But at the end of the day, that would give me a pretty good stockpile of like a 1,000 corn or something to that effect probably that I'd have banked, which would be pretty nice, honestly, moving forward. Then we get down here. This is the south chunk. This is considered number three. Another water source don't care about uh, this. We get the rest of the cornfield would actually be nice. We don't have to hop anymore. We could just kind of pick around the edge and then go cook. Um, this is an onion field. I don't think that would have any issues. I don't remember what chopped onions are. So, yeah, fried onions. There you go. So it'd be 40. We'd have a 42 cooking grind, which again, it's not that bad. We got to 39 already with just cooking some of those cooking some of those sweet corn. I think this is a cabbage field, another cooking range, and then a mill. A mill is pretty nice. Oh, maybe pita bread. Probably actually pita bread. Okay, that that kind of stinks. That's a big that's a big grind. If we have to do pita pita bread, uh, fifty eight is is a ways away. It would make this chunk free essentially, I would think. But yeah, so either way, uh, it looks like chunks two and three are cooking cooking grinds. Chunk one looks like it's a very slight attack grind, and potentially if anything's in these underground sections then we get into chunk four this is probably the uh longest possible gating chunk that we have for the near future other than probably the coliseum itself there's gonna be a lot here uh first we get general store that's gonna be huge because it probably sells maybe a bronze axe which would unlock wood cutting and it probably has a knife so we'd be able to do fletching so that would be a money maker as well, getting longbows and whatnot. I don't know what trees I have in my current chunk. I think it's just regular trees. I don't know what's in this chunk either for trees. I don't see any icons, so probably just regular trees. 
So it wouldn't be a long grind, but it would unlock a, a couple more skills, which would be nice. Then we have the silk trader. So in this clothing shop we already have, there is silk upstairs. So we could world hop, collect silk, and sell it to this trader. That is a money maker, which is not bad. Fur trader, I don't think that helps us much. Gem shop would be nice. Potentially like a Al Karid gem shop. We could you could buy them, cut them, and sell them back. That's a money maker as well as uh crafting um XP in general. Spice shop, again, I don't know what this sells, though it could help for cooking. I don't know uh what spices we could use, but we have that. And then a food shop. There's actually two food shops. One in the bazaar and then one outside. That has me intrigued because my current food is a four healing. Now, I'll, I'll be it. It'll go up when we get our hit points up, but four healing is not fantastic. If either of those increase our healing even to five or six, that's a win for me for sure. Then we've got a couple more cooking ranges, some water sources. All that's kind of useless. We got a pub. Don't know what kind of, maybe like a wizard mind bomb. I, I mean, I doubt it's in this area, but maybe there's some kind of a stat boost that we could buy, which would be kind of nice to have. Estate agent, which could be nice. We could uh, potentially buy our house here, which means we wouldn't have to leave their chunk for that. Along the lines of the thieving it's, uh, activity, the wealthy citizens are there, like I had mentioned. So that would actually unlock the 50 um, thieving grind. That's that's one we'd have to look into. Gem stall alone is 75, so that would be probably the highest we'd have to go on that thieving. But at least then we'd have the activity we could do. Uh, and from what I gather, at least in this house, there's that jewelry to th thieve from, and you get an uncommon chance to get actual jewelry, which could really really help us, like things like rings of forging and, um, I mean, magic amulets, like anything we'd be able to get later on, which would be. Uh, pretty nice then we've got uh what looks like an altar with a crypt altar would be fantastic we can start using prayer the crypt by skeletons down there or maybe zombies down there um which actually now that i think about it might also drop an axe i think they dropped steel axe if i remember uh zombies so either way this chunk definitely the most content definitely would take the longest to get through as well um and then of course that would give us access down here which i don't know what the rest of this is. it looks like corn uh looks like onion and, and probably wheat again so nothing new from crops wise but that's the chunks one two three four northwest southeast respectively we will switch over to the chunk picker and pick it before i do my hope i think like what i would want First, it'd probably be the sword shop because just getting some kind of gear would be nice. Even if I don't even need it, just getting a sword would be super, super nice. I wouldn't have to worry about potentially using like quiz random uh, mystery boxes to try to get like a mithril sim, for example. I could go with like an Addy two-hander or something like that. So I'd probably prioritize north and then the next best would probably be uh, west or south. I think I want to save this chunk for a while. And it's not even because of the grinds or the content that's in it. It just gets me closer to the Coliseum. That's going to gate me, like, really fast. Uh, so I want to try to kind of do everything else than that. Uh, also, it gives me time to get equipment. And, of course, it's impossible with some of the gear that we have now. So we'll have to put some kind of um, rules behind it that, that it won't stop our progress. But we have to keep trying, right? Meaningful progress type thing. So... We'll see what we get. Let's go roll. All right, and here we are. We have the chunk picker open. Let's uh, let's just get right into it. I mean, we've again, this doesn't have our tasks into it, so we'll probably miss some tasks here and there or make wrong assumptions, right? Like I had about the 50 thieving uh, along the way. That's just normal. It's the way it's going to be. But without further ado, let's roll our chunk and see what we get. Okay, we got south. That's not bad. Um, we'll see what this is going to be. I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to be pita bread because we have wheat up here and a mill. But uh, we do need a pot 
which I'm not sure if I've gotten already from an imp, which I think I have. So if I do have that, then that would be the task to do. But without further ado, let's just jump into it and explore. All right, let's release this chunk and let's go and see what we got. All right, so the first thing I see obviously is an oak tree. I don't know if there's any way for us to get axes or anything, but I'll we'll see. Uh, then we got snakes. We'll just kill one now because it'll be a task to kill everything anyways. Uh, I don't know if they're going to drop any like snake skin or anything. Nope, just bones. So these are probably hunter related, uh, which means we probably have some kind of a training method. Matt, oh, that's huge. So if anyone remembers, I was an absolute moron in episode one. I said that, oh, we've got this uh farmer over here will pickpocket them and get seeds well spoon is dumb it's a master farmer master farmers drop seeds right there we've already got the thieving level though that's what's huge we've already got 38 thieving right we've got 40 so now we have seeds so this is pretty good i might actually just take some time randomly here and there just to come over here and pickpocket some just because it's not a bad idea just to get some seeds while we're going through all this. Ooh, a spade. That's good. That's a new item drop. So we'll definitely come in here and grab this spade. That'll help with clues if we need them eventually. Okay, so here's a mill. I assume it's just like a normal mill. Let's check it out. Yep, filler. Operate it. Ooh, and it's got a pot here. So even if we didn't get one from the imp, that is unlocked. Uh, pita bread. Ooh, we got chickens. Chicken unlocks feathers. That is good for fletching later on. This is a decent chunk, guys. I'm not going to lie. Well, it looks like we're going to have a cooking grind for sure. It's going to be kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie, but because it would be so much faster if we had this way into the city to the bank. Um, otherwise, we're just going to have to go out and around. I can't justify dropping all of this sweet corn though. We're gonna have to, let me do, let's check the calculator and see. That's 1800 cooked sweet corn. I can't drop those. 1800 is a lot. That would be really, really nice for us moving forward combat wise. So I can't drop those. I'm gonna have to just, it's just gonna take a while, but we're gonna bake them. We're gonna have to bake them. All right, let's get back to the grind. Let's start cooking. Thanks for watching, and for next episode, we'll go through the rest of our cooking grind, finish 58 cooking, make some pita bread, and roll the next chunk.